Hey, welcome back to the Truck Driver Sean YouTube channel. Today I'm here again with Park from Park's Custom Pedals and TDS FX, a good friend of mine, all the way here from Indiana. And one of his pedals finally came in. And if you've been watching my little adventure through Fuzz Imp, uh, he's the actual one that buys the Fuzz Imp pedals. And he thinks it's funny to make sure I fuck with Fuzz things. Yeah, I sent them here first before I get them. Know what I'm saying? All right, so uh, after a year <laughs> of waiting, we got another package. Yeah. If molasses was fast, we would say that, you know, justice is fast. Go with a last name like Gash. I can see why he does bitchy things like take his time. All right, so this is the Sender V, Sender 5. Essentially, it's a muff that you can manipulate with gain and a gate and Mids. every tinker toy on the planet, really. Yeah, it's a really hot modified myth. Modified muff. It's a myth. <laughs> Not to be confused with a muff or a milf. It's a myth. <laughs> <laughs> Although, it does have a big purple swollen up fucking dink on there, though. I don't know why it didn't come with a nut bag, but, you know. So be it. It's a sender. Looks like a butt plug on Wish. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So uh, essentially, you have your level, your high, your no. That's tone. Dang. Fuck's sake. Level, tone, gain, boost, uh, gate. And then you have a vintage and a hot toggle. You have a three-way clip, yep. which goes from being just your regular to... Strict diodes. Strict diodes, and then pushed, right? I think so. Yeah. And then you have a way to turn your boost on and off. Well, I think that's a mid-boost to, <laughs> mid to go with the boost. A mid-boost to go with the boost. Well, shit on me. This pedal right here supposedly is to turn it on, and this one's to activate the mid or the actual boost. I think it's opposite. But then why would they have a switch for the mids? No, I think this one turns it on. Oh. Let's just turn the fucking thing on and figure <laughs> out what it does. <laughs> it's on sale, Fuzz Imp, right now. And all retailers that sell Fuzz Imp stuff. Yeah. Uh, everything's at noontime. We'll do it like we read. We'll hit this button. Then we'll hit that button. And... See what the shit show brings us. All right, here we go.
jiggly a fat around. <clears throat> oh, they got some bottom into it. Oh, yeah. yeah. She girthy. <laughs> I'm highly impressed. Yeah, it actually sounds really good. Each control um, does a lot. Mm. And it, each switch changes everything. And somewhere in there, and I always, I know with the Doom guys, they hate that I bring it up. But there's some of that that comes through there. Like we hit one, I almost went into it, but I could see you reaching up to change it. It really reminded me a lot of Pepper Keenan's tone. Like it's very unique and distinct, and this thing yanked it out, like just randomly. So if it can randomly yank it out, you can dial it in for sure. So if you like that, kind of like that NOLA type of stoner rock, sludgy blues type stuff, this pedal is a fucking home run. Yeah, it's, it's good. Because that's a hard tone to get. It's easy to get a shitty fuzz tone. I'm just going to put that out there. It is really <laughs> easy to get a shitty fuzz tone. But to get usable tones with a fuzz, that takes, one, a very good fuzz pedal. Two, having the right controls to work with that fuzz, which I don't know how much trial and error comes with that because I've never had to build one before, but this is actually really smart. Like, everything on there actually has a physical purpose, and its purpose actually does what the purpose is supposed to do. Yeah. It's not just switches and knobs thrown on there for shits and giggles. Yeah. There's a wide range. Yeah. You can you can go from anything from, like, that really gutter, what do they call that? The gutter punk goth fucking sludgy shit. You can do that all the way up to, like, I don't know, like, some of these modern bands, like Beartooth is kind of, like, bringing fuzz back. Like... They use fuzz on everything. That latest record is just chock full of fuzz. And the one before that, chock full of fuzz. And uh, it's very usable and it sounds very good. If you never listen to Beartooth, just go listen to them. They're not a doom band or anything. They're, just, they're a fucking amazing band. They're a rock band, really. Shout out to Caleb Shomo. Shomo the homo! I had to say it. But uh, this thing right here, for $169, you're winning the battle. Yeah, it's, it's worth 169 bucks all fucking day long. One of the best mu uh, muffs um, I've heard. Yeah, it's really good. It was a lot of fun to play. I was in uh, C sharp standard on my Deviant uh, Lynchpin that has a Heathen uh, Frenmer from Rrr 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 -ru in it. <laughs> Royce hates it when I say that, but it, it is what it is. I can't not say it now. That is going into the Fuzz Imp Sender V or Sender 5. I don't think there was a Sender 3 or a Sender 4, so I don't know if it's V or 5. It's Justice. It's a fucking weird dude. I'm pretty sure he like has a part-time gig building pedals and a full-time gig herding like fucking goats or something. But uh, I don't know what he does. But he's smart with this stuff. I'll give him that. Some stuff I don't get and I don't like it, and it's just not for me. But this right here, I'm not a fuzz guy. Literally, I have a shirt that says... Fuck fuzz. I hate fuzz. I like almost every single pedal there is for guitar. Fuzz is not at all. And my friends think it's fine to send me fuzz pedals. Yes. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> but I do play them. I don't just make in fun of them. And if they're good, I say they're good. Are they for me? Nine out of ten times? No. This one I'd actually use though. Because you can get that really good COC stuff out of it. And I'm a huge Pepper Keenan fan. I think that he's way underrated. The stuff he did with Corrosion and Conformity, the stuff he's done with Down, he's incredible. But uh, yeah, this thing is great. And it's going straight into the Grendel Mach 2 that is feeding my Arachnid cab. Um, EQ controls around noon? Yeah, uh, the EQ's bypassed anyway, so it doesn't really much matter. He's just telling you something he didn't need to tell you. But. Everything is at noon, even though it's disengaged. I, I forgot about that. <laughs> and the presence and depth is at noontime. I don't even know what that would have done to make a difference. I'm going to say leaving it at noontime is neutral, right? I would think so. Yeah. So if you got this, I mean, literally, if you don't like to turn knobs, and you don't like to flick switches, and you don't like to have the pursuit of tone, this is not, you're not just going to plug it in, turn it on, and it's going to be awesome. I mean, literally, these knobs, none of them except for the boost is, uh, the boost and the gate is at noon. Everything else is manipulated. Yeah, every time you flip a switch, you got to readjust it, to, you know, and you get it's a very whole, responsive. And get yeah. a whole new sound. 
Yeah, there's one thing you can't say about this. There's a lot of fuzzes that people buy because that's a cool name. And they don't do shit except for literally sound like shit. Or get, you get one sound out of it and that's it. Yeah. They might as well not even have a knob. Yeah. yeah. But this thing here, if you're, if you're the type that dabbles in certain things, like you don't really need a fuzz for a very specific thing, you like to color with lots of crayons, basically, this actually is very good. You know? As much as I want to crack jokes at Justice for being the slowest white man on earth with getting pedals built, um, and when he does build them, they're awesome. Yeah. By the way, this one here, I do believe, was a gift to part because he uh, was so goddamn fucking slow. <laughs> so, yeah, good deal. That was that was a fun pedal. And never none for nothing. I think I need to get myself like a Vanna White type situation. Can I call you Vanna? No. No? I'd do it anyway. But having someone turn the knobs. I gotta have a blonde wig that then you can do it. Well, you definitely need a wig. <laughs> that ain't no shit. There's <laughs> <laughs> a reason why I wear that. <laughs> Does the band ring of Sa Rings of Saturn mean anything to you? <laughs> but uh, anyway, Sender V, Sender 5, whatever it is by Fuzz Imp, I'm going to give it four out of five I fuck dooms out of it. it uh, I'd give it a five out of five if it wasn't a fuzz pedal, but because it's a fuzz pedal, it's by pride alone it loses a point but uh i could use that for a lot of stuff and i'm not a doom guy at all i'm actually gonna when i take this back to indiana i got a couple friends that have some doom bands um i'm definitely gonna share this with them and let them try it out because i think they will actually show what it can do i think they really like it yeah oh for sure those wizard wannabe motherfuckers will love the fuck out of that thing if you smoke dope and you think you're a fucking wizard definitely buy this thing definitely Swear to God, if you're smoking a bong right now and you're like, that thing's awesome, and you got like an unruly, unkept beard, and you wear a hat that has your favorite beer logo on it, buy this pedal. It's for you. And it's cheaper than a new pair of jeans, which you've needed for a long fucking time, buddy. Just gonna tell you right now. No, it, for what it does, it's priced very well. Yeah, yeah, fuck yeah. $169 for that is. That is a phenomenal deal, as far as I'm concerned, because of what it does. And by the way, Justice doesn't pay us anything. We literally, I just dogged on him for being the slowest white man on earth. So <laughs> he's probably already trying to boycott this video, boycott, boycott this video right now. I'm glad I'm not having one of the speaking problems today. Yeah, yeah. This is the problem when you hang around with someone with this you start picking up on it. But no, it. uh... <laughs> Yes, I fucking pick all my friends endlessly. But this pedal right here, no joke, no bullshit. It's worth 169 bucks. If you're not a fan of fuzz, sort of like when I did the adventure pedal, which by the way was sent to me uh, via park. That adventure pedal was really fun and very usable. There was so much stuff on it that did so many things that I literally made a 40 minute video on a fuzz pedal. That's how you know I like it. <laughs> it's been 45 minutes not just completely shitting on something. But believe me, those videos don't take long. Seven, eight minutes, I'm done shitting. But uh, just like in real life, you know, take a dump, seven, eight minutes, I'm in and out. Sometimes less than that, depends on if I have coffee or not. That is true. <laughs> All right, but uh, <laughs> Sender 5, Sender V, the one that has the uh, the butt plug on it that's supposed to be, I think, a blimp. That's what, yeah. The other know. one was a lot of hot. No, it was a, it it was a, it a Zeppelin, a right? Yeah, it had a, it had a blimp Zeppelin thing on it. Yeah. Yeah, but it does definitely look like a butt plug from Wish. Dot com. Anyway, if you know what the pedal looks like, ask it looks like he, this. Ask him how he knows that. They all know how I know that. It's because I used it with your mom. But if you want to see what the pedal looks like, this is what it looks like. It's not in my hand, really, in real life, but I'm going to use magic. And that's why you're staring at it right now, because I'm too lazy and fat to unhook that fucking thing. But you'll see it right here. All right? Bing. Yep. Bing. All right. Very cool. Thank you for tuning in. Subscribe to my shit show. It's a lot of fun. We uh we dick off here and act like assholes. It's a good time. Not to be taken too seriously, except for the gear I am honest about. I don't give a fuck someone sends it to me to try. If I buy it, doesn't matter. I have uh, I just I play it. I don't hide behind nothing. I got mic'd up directly into that camera. There's no faking what the fuck I just did. There's no editing except for I'm gonna use a little magic to put that, that pedal in my hand that, that you saw a little bit ago. 
That I do know how to do. But manipulating sound, one, I don't have the fucking time. I literally take it off an SD card, I dump it onto my cell phone, <laughs> and it's done. No mixing boards or anything like <laughs> no, that? No, I don't have to time time. And I am literally dumb as shit. It's just not for me. No 10 plugins to run it through? No. If it sounds like shit, it sounds like shit. I normally I capture things pretty well as I've got my I never move my mic. I got the sweet spot and it it lives there. Thank God I marked it before I went to NAM. I literally measured it top to bottom, side to side, so I could put it back right in the same exact place. I was that neurotic about it. Yeah. Anyhow. Thank you all for tuning in. Thank you, Park, for letting me pick on you for two days. Yeah. Three days. Two. Two and a half. Two and a half. Yeah. Let's call it what it is. I still have all right, cool beans. Let's. Uh, we got another fuzz imp pedal that we're gonna do. So, I don't know which one of these you're gonna see first. But if you saw this and you haven't seen the other one, it's either coming or it's already there. It has been cummed on, like your mom. And uh, go check it out. It's got the shroop too. Identity theft is a crime, bitch. All right, catch the next video. Later. <laughs>